Hello friends, this is another C++ question and uh, this is really a very famous interview question like what is compiler, linker and loader, okay. So there are lots of ways to ask this same question. So I have got two diagram, this is one diagram and this is another diagram, this one. So I'll try to explain with this diagram first, then we'll go to the next diagram, okay. So compiler is not just one single entity. It has lots of modules inside that. Okay, so first you have written one source code. So let's suppose source code 1, 2 and 3. Let's suppose there are 3 CPP files or C files. You will feed that file into the compiler and that compiler will create object code. Like if you are just simply compiling it, you will get .o file. Okay, so that .o file is nothing but the object of your particular file. I mean the object file okay of your particular source code like suppose if you are having this source code name like 1.cpp then the output of this compiled version of code would be like 1.0 okay so this shows that this is the object file of this 1.cpp file okay so once you will get that dot object file the linker comes into the picture linker will take all the object files along with the library files you might be taking some libraries like if you have included math library or some another external library what you write here using like has include or you link it when you are compiling so you might have seen people linking math library like this like suppose if you are having some code you can compile it like code.cpp and here you will give lm this l stands for library and this m is for math library so this library you are giving it at compile time okay so this library will also come into this phase so that library will come object files will come linker will get all these things and will link together okay and linker create executables what you see in the end Let's suppose you create, you compile this, you get some executable. That executable is the result of linker. If linker fails, you might have seen lots of errors like undefined reference. That undefined reference come from this linker. Okay. And there is no undefined error or everything goes well till now, till here, it will create executable. And when you run that program, when you double click that or run that program, that loader come into the picture and this loader is not the part of your compiler or anything. This loader is the part of your operating system. In operating system, this loader will load that into your RAM and it will put into the ready queue. I will not go into the operating system much. So just try to understand you are done with the executable. If you will run this executable, loader will load into the memory and your program will start running. So this was the first diagram. This was very basic diagram what people use. I have this another diagram also. Here you can see you have some editor or some IDE. You write source code in that. The source code is in form of .cpp and .h. That .cpp and .h goes into the pre-processing state. Okay. This pre-processing compiler and assembler and linker. From here to here we call compiler. It is really a confusing that saying these four stages a single compiler and in second phase you say compiler okay this is confusing enough but this is the way it is people get confused but once you will get experience you will understand what is the difference between this whole compiler and what is the difference in this one single entity of the compiler okay so this comes under like lots of errors are there in program like lexical error or uh, semantic error those error comes into check with this compiler i mean this phase okay there are lexical analyzer semantic analyzer so those things comes under this one if you don't know lexical analyzer and semantic analyzer and all that and tokenizer forget about that i will explain briefly about how the compilation goes so you will get the preprocessor first in the phase so it will take .cpp and .h file and it will do the pre-processing like it will remove your comments from the code okay because that comment is of no use for your operating system to understand the program it needs only the actual program no need of comments in that it includes your included file 
like we do this has include io stream so this is nothing but a file it is taking that file and pasting it here just here it is simply taking the content of this file and pasting here yes it is total copy and paste okay so once it will paste it will move to the next thing it will see that okay using namespace okay fine it will go here 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 like that and let's suppose you are having some comment here like i am writing main function here then this comment will get erased okay there won't be any comment after the pre-processing state okay so the pre-processing state will do all these things and it will replace the symbols also like if you have used any macros it will replace all those macros at that phase okay and if you don't know i will give you a simple example in that situation i know i'm going to make this video a little more lengthy but it's okay max or add and it can have x and y x plus y and let's suppose you are using that somewhere here like and 1 comma 2 then we all know this thing will get replaced with x plus 1 so when this pre-processing state will over this x plus 1 means 1 plus 2 will get returned here okay so 1 plus 2 it will look like this after this phase okay after this pre-processing state is finished okay so once this pre-processor stage is finished it will go to the compiler phase and compiler phase is having tokenizer lexical analyzer semantic analyzer and first of all it will convert into abstract syntax tree so that it can derive the meaning out of your code so there are lots of phases so i'm not going to explain the compiler i may include in some uh, another video but the purpose of this video is whole phase of your compilation so once your compiler is done and your code is okay it will generate the assembly code yes your compiler is responsible for creating assembly code out of your original code i mean the cpp code once that assembly is done it will feed that assembly into the assembler okay and that assembler will read that assembly and create object code okay and that object code will go into the linker and some external libraries like static libraries like dot lib or dot a in linux it is dot a will go into linker and once linker is done it will see all the code what you have written and if you have used some static library it will see the library is there definition is available everything is fine it will pass then and it will create the exe so you are done with your compilation and you are ready with your executable now you can run it so once you will run this exe here it's up to you you want to run this or not so if you run this the loader will come into the picture and loader load your program and any dynamic library like dot so or dot dll in case of windows and dot so in linux at runtime it will take these libraries at runtime and load it okay so once everything is perfect it will load into the operating system so this is how this whole thing goes and if you want to see the compiled version of this one i can show you that i mean the whole files like dot i dot s dot o so there is command in linux i don't know about the windows what is there it is there in windows as well you have to search for that i don't know but in linux i know that so we can simply go to this place where is this place i don't remember that g plus plus compiler linker and loader this double dash save temp okay and you are good to go you can just simply compile this oh actually you need to give this save temp here dash oh i didn't come comment it out this whole thing so we need to comment this first commented and do this so if you will see here my program name was this compiler linker loader dot cpp okay this is the code here and once i did compilation with this option save temp it will give you dot i dot o dot s 
okay so this is your object file this is your pre-processed file and this is your assemble file okay we can open that and we can see what is this so first we will open compiler link loader dot i once you will open that you will see this whole bunch of code it is really very big code and you will have your whole program in the bottom like if you want to go into the bottom press shift g in this it will go see this is your program and using namespace is this and the whole content like from here to the whole top it is coming from iostream.h sorry iostream there is no dot h in that so this whole thing is just copied and pasted here okay in this file as i said in the beginning when i was explaining and did you notice that comment is gone so let me check whether that comment is still there or not okay yeah even this comment is also not there okay that comment is not there no problem i can simply write some comment and this comment will not be there we can check that i will just compile again with the same option and we will check that dot ii file press shift g will come in the bottom and see in between this using namespace std and the int main we have this comment also but in this comment is not there and even this whole comment is also gone from the bottom of your main see after main nothing is there if i'll press down button nothing is coming in this okay so you can analyze the intermediate files you can open other files also like dot o file it is not readable file actually but this is how it looks like okay and you can open that assembly file also that is readable but i mean you need a good knowledge about assembly okay then only you can understand what is happening here and this is your actual code guys this is the code okay see here i love string this is a string part there are lots of section in the code like text section and global section okay so this is how it looks like so i think i'm pretty much done here so if you have any question please ask i'll be very happy to answer that and uh, maybe in future i will include much more deeper videos for this for now enjoy this video thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye